Mel College is better than Harvard University, at least according to this student. Let's take a look at his college application. This student had full household responsibilities, cooking, cleaning, shopping, budgeting, pet care, and everything else. Had a self-led charity to help low-income retired people in his neighborhood through plumbing, carpentry, and just about everything else. Spent somewhere in the five-figure hour count doing this activity. Coached his football team, was part of FBLA, and wrote two research papers with one getting recognition from a local professor and the other one correctly predicting that the crypto market would soon implode on itself. Here are the universities that he applied to. Now as for where I think he got in, I would say that he got into all of the state schools here. So from App State all the way to Connecticut College, I'm gonna say that he got accepted. I'm gonna say he got accepted to Occidental, Lehigh, Wesleyan, Hamilton as well. I'm gonna say rejected from Swarthmore, accepted to Bowden, I'm gonna say accepted to Williams, accepted to Grinnell, accepted to Davidson, and accepted to Harvard. Now I did mention that this student thinks that Grinnell is a better choice than Harvard. I'll be revealing which university he actually is in in part two, as well as the rest of the universities that he got accepted to. Colleges this kid got into are insane. This student got into Harvard and Grinnell. See? Harvard and Grinnell. But chose to go to Grinnell. Now the reason why she chose to go to Grinnell was because they offered a full ride. And they they and it's been great, I guess. So I mean, props to her. However, she also got rejected from Hamilton, Wesleyan, and Swarthmore. She also got waitlist from Bowden and Williams. But she was accepted to all the state schools that she applied to. I guess Chapel Hill waitlisted her. But she submitted an appeal and she got accepted. She also got into DePaul, Kenyon, Connecticut College, Lehigh, Davidson, and Occidental as an Obama Scholarship semifinalist. Now what I didn't mention in the previous video is that this student used to be homeless living in a drug den. And that the college application process was probably the most stressful thing that she went through. Just to give you a brief update about this student. This student had full household responsibilities. Cooking, cleaning, shopping, budgeting, pet care, and everything else at her house. If she can do it, so can you. So go work on your college apps.